In today's video, we're gonna use triggers in PowerPoint to reveal any text we want in our presentations with one click. Let's get it started. Hello guys, welcome to idea number 5 in this video series. I hope you found this useful. If so, please give me a like to help spread the word and don't forget to subscribe. It will be an honor to have you on board. That's it for the intro, so let's get this done. As always, we're going to start by deleting the default content from our brand new presentation. Let's now add a circle to our slide. Let's adjust the size. And place it over here. Now we're going to add a rectangle like this. OK, let's move this a little bit. Right click on the rectangle, send to back. Now it's time to add some text. Remember, what I'm trying to do on these videos is to give you some ideas to improve your presentations. Don't take the design I'm using here as a reference, as I am using a simple design to save time and keep my videos short. Okay, now let's move the text outside the slide. Let's copy the circle. Move it over here, and now let's change the color and remove the outline for our shapes. The rectangle will be white, because we don't want our audience to see it. Now right-click on the text, send to back. And let's add some animations. So while having the text selected, go to animations, add animation, motion paths, lines, and change the direction to the right. Now move the end of the animation to the desired position. And let's move the circle over here. And now we're going to use a trigger for this animation. So look at this. Open the animation pane, click on the text, and click on trigger. On click off, and select the first circle as your trigger. Now add a fade animation to our second circle and move it below the trigger. Let's now change the start to with previous for both. And now let's change the duration to 1 second for the text animation and add a delay of 0.5 for the fading animation. Now we need to copy and paste this wall thing a couple times. OK, and now let's change the text. Send all text boxes to back. And let's take a look at the result. As you can see, now when you click on the gray circles, the animations start running as expected. This is pretty useful to present bullet points and drive your audience's attention during your presentation. I hope you like it. So that's it for now guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video, take care and see you next time.